Hello, I'm fellow White, and welcome back to my Fire Emblem 6, The Binding Blade, Iron Man Randomizer with extra crit on all the weapons. Looking forward to today's map, quite a bit actually. This one's going to be a lot of fun, taking on Ostia Castle today. With uh, not all too many units, I'm still going to bench Marcus and Ray, but hopefully this should be fine. We uh, still have, you know, mainly our, our good units, and I mean, I guess that literally just means Lance and Percival at this point, plus our two pre-promotes. But we do get four new units this map, plus Astor, so we should be okay. Um, I did grab a lot of equipment last map through the arena grinding that I did. So Bartray should be good on bows for a while. I'd imagine that Percival will probably be good on swords for a while. We did get that Binding of Blade. <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't know how that's going to work exactly. I don't think he get Whoa. Wait, whoa, whoa. Oh. Are you kidding me? She can use this? Oh my god, that's... That's so cool, she can use the Binding Blade. That makes sense too, because it doesn't have a weapon rank. Oh my god, we get the Binding Blade this early, that's awesome. Look at this, this is so cool. We can actually use it. Oh man, I hope that, I don't even know what to say about that really, that's just awesome. I cannot believe that we get to use the Binding Blade. It's not going to have an animation of course, but it's uh, I don't know, it's going to exist. I don't know, maybe maybe what I'll do, I might make a patch that uh, includes the, uh, includes like some sort of animation for her to use, just so that we can see it. Um, but wow, that's... That's really beyond awesome. I cannot believe that we get to use that. Put away the Lance Reaver, grab him. Probably the Slim Sword for the extra crit. Actually, we have that Killing Edge that we can give to him. Man, I cannot get over that. He can gets to use the Binding Blade this early. That's so cool. If we ha if we happen into another one, that'd be the best thing in the world, really. I don't I don't quite imagine that that'll happen, but. I cannot believe that. That's so cool. Let's see. Let's grab the Lance Reaver. Probably use it up this map. I don't really think we have much more to do in terms of preparation, really. Put uh, vulnerabilities on people or something. I guess Chad can have an Iron Sword. Perhaps Chad will actually be a unit that gets to fight some. I don't know. And then Astor will come with this stuff. So, man, that's so cool. Echidna with the Binding Blade. Alright, just a fast cut there as I set up my uh, starting positions. Nothing really of importance. But let's get into the map. We get to I'm gonna skip all of the text so that we don't see anything. But we're gonna be able to see our Lilina now, and I am really excited to see who that is. What Okay, so I, I already know who the character is. But this class is exactly what we needed after we just lost our bard. I'm really excited for this unit. It's Noah. Noah the Bard. This is Noah's my second favorite character in this game, so I'm really excited that we get to use him. And him being a Bard is just insane. We just lost our Bard. We would have had Bard train access, but you know what? We had a new Bard. I'm happy. I really cannot complain. We just lost our Bard, and now we get a new one, and it's my second favorite character, so there's going to be absolutely no shame in spamming away turn on both of their animations because I do want to see his after a while. You have to be a little bit careful because uh, he can be shot through the wall here, but I mean, everybody can, anybody can do that. They just, you just got to move him to the side a little bit. He's good to go. Now as for this guy, probably going to break the Lance Reaver on him. Then we do get Astor, of course, so I'll show him off. Yeah, he's about, he's about a standard standard Astor. I don't know if his stats are any in any way uh, affected because I believe that I have that setting on that uh, unit bases will be altered by up to three points in either direction in any stat. I think I remember his strength being a little bit higher than this, but honestly I don't really remember. He's uh, basically just the better version of Chad, and I'll probably actually end up using him as a combat unit sometimes. Let's see. I guess I'll place 
bar tray right here. I'm probably going to end up getting the A support between Noah and Echidna. Because uh, it's a very fast support and he has Anima Affinity to her Ice. So that'll give double defense and uh, a little bit of attack, but no crits. I believe a little bit of a void too. I remember this from the Erica Seth support in FE8. That the uh, Anima and uh, Light, they both give plus one to attack and defense. So they get full attack and defense from being with each other, but no no, no meaningful crit. She, Erica gives a little bit of crit, but Seth doesn't. As for Ice, Ice is uh, quite possibly the second worst affinity. I would actually place Dark above Ice in terms of, you know, being bad. But then, at the same time, there's some merit in uh, the Dark affinity. What's all that noise? Is there a battle going on? If only, if only we could see outside that chamber. But yeah, looks like we're gonna be in pretty good uh, condition. We get a new bard. And then we get... We got Astor, of course. Then we're gonna get three new units from the top left. Not too long from now. I can't wait to see who they are. We're still in the need for some good units. Right, we still don't have healing, so we could use a healer. If we get uh, a Guiding Ring on this map, I will probably just promote one of my mages. It'll probably be Lance, because he's, he's nearing promotion level, or he's nearing uh, the point that he could, you know, he's nearing the point that it won't matter if he uh, levels up too much. Or he, that, that is to say, he's nearing the point that his uh, level ups are going to come slowly and it could be, you know, beneficial just to have. Man. I'm, I'm really tempted to use this. I mean, I know it's pointless, but it's... 8 weight, so she does lose 4 speed to using it, but... We're gonna, we're gonna refrain for a little bit. It's not going to show an animation. Actually, it might from 2 range. I, I really have no idea, but I doubt it. I guess we'll uh, end up seeing later, probably. Let's see, Bartray. Shoot away at this guy. This is a this is a really cool map for uh, discovery, as it were. We get a new unit. We get to we find out that the Binding Blade actually works on Echidna. It's really awesome. Jarrett can have this kill. I might have um underestimated Jared a little bit because having a, a sword master you really just you really can't go wrong with that his stats are not actually that bad like he, he gained a lot of defense through his level ups in the last uh, last map and he has respectable HP his strength is never going to grow and his speed is going to become obsolete within a few maps but I mean it's it's cool we got sword master a lot of crits actually I might give him the slim sword even still Swap over this, I guess. Percival can heal up. And then, like I said, there's a lot of treasure here, too. There's eight chests in total. Plus, there'll be, uh, I mean, we'll have another Cath encounter, so we'll get two lockpicks. We'll get one from her and one from the other thief. And that is cool. Just about forgot to move Noah. Alrighty. Yeah, that's right. I forgot that this guy had a door key to get out of here with. It's kind of a, an awkward placement. But I guess it's, it is what it is. That's so funny. She, <laughs> she gets the binding blade. Uh, I cannot believe it. Never gonna stop talking about it. It's way too funny. Help us shoot that guy down and perhaps manage to get through this guy one way or another. Maybe we'll do something like this. Really doesn't matter too much. These soldiers are not that big of a threat. I guess I could do a better job of passing around experience to Lance, but I really need to get a move on for this uh, chapter. 
because I do need to get over there to the reinforcements sooner rather than later and make sure that they're safe. Because if they're squishy, then they'll just die. This first part is a little bit tedious, it's a little bit winding, but once you get deep into the map, things really pick up in pace. Can't wait to see what's in those treasure chests down there. I can't wait to see who those units are. I really hope one's a healer. Here they are. Okay, we can kind of see who they, what classes they are, but let's check them out. So we have <laughs> Gonzalez as a mage. Okay, that is interesting. He has high skill and he has really, really high magic and speed growth because he's Gonzalez. Okay, this is gonna be a very valuable unit. It's going to be really, really fun to use him. He's going to start off weak, but he's going to explode in terms of usefulness, I would say. Alright, very cool. Comes with two Thunder Tomes, so he'll have high crit. The high skill base is actually really helpful with him, because he doesn't have a high skill growth at all. Let's see, we have a Roy Lord, Alan. He can actually probably use the Binding Blade, too. I like Alan, um, but he is a Roy Lord, and that's not spectacular. Comes with a Worm Slayer. His speed growth is the lower of the two Cavaliers. So, I guess we'll see how he goes. Level 9, he won't be able to promote in this game. Because the uh, promotion item is not actually a promotion item, it's an event. And then... Melody is a Wyvern Rider. Okay, I'm really, really fine with that. Basically just early game Melody. Wow, okay. I mean, she has not spectacular growth, so her speed is a little bit low, but her strength and defense are really high. You really can't go wrong with rescue utility. Plus she has 15-8 it looks like. She uh, is a male wyvern rider in this case. Alright, I'm very fine with these units actually. All of them, even even Alan. I like Alan, he's my favorite of the two starter cavaliers. It's usually him and Noah that carry me through the game. I am going to have to be a little bit careful here. So that I don't um, get them killed of course. None of these guys are robust in terms of stats or in terms of defense apart from the lady who is uh you know weak to archers and all steel bow will easily one shot her 27 plus 11 would put her at 38 attack and she has 35 effective defense so yeah i can't really afford to do that right now grab us another vulnerary up i like the healing i am still hopeful for a guiding ring in this map or in any map, really. Let's see. Might be able to manage something here. If nothing else, we can box in this archer. 
Okay, that's really good though, because we didn't have an Elysian Whip user. We, we have a lot of mages though. We have three mages, so we're gonna need three, three Guiding Rings. I'm definitely going to use Gonzalez. There's no way that I won't. His uh, speed and uh, attack are too high, and he's no longer using axes, so he's gonna be very strong. We got some really good units in this map. We got, I mean, I, th I would I would call three of them good because I I wouldn't exactly count Alan as that great, but I mean he's you know he's a royal lord and we have plenty of deployment sp spots because everyone's dead, so it should be okay. Lance gets a little bit more crit from his uh, support with Percival because Percival's dark affinity gives uh. Uh, crit, crit avoid, hit, and dodge, or hit avoid, crit, and crit avoid instead of attack or defense. So in some ways it's better than the uh, ice affinity that Echidna has. I really have a hard time placing those two as to which I like better. Ice affinity gives defense, which could be argued, argued to be uh, close to useless in some, some instances. Because you'd usually rather have hit rate or attack. is going to be vulnerary city population me for a little while. I'm, uh, I've said it many times now, but I'm really desperate for some manner of promotion item in one of these chests. One that I can make use of, per or hopefully. The lady is really far away from promotion level. She must be the Wendy replacement. Hopefully her growth rates kick into effect. I know they're not spectacular. Her main draw is that she can be promoted right away with uh, pretty great base stats, with hard mode bonuses and everything. She has kind of high speed, or no, she has kind of low speed, but high, uh, high attack and defense. And there's some merit in that. We don't get the uh, Delphi shield for a very long time, so I'll have to be careful. I mean, we, m we might luck into one in, in a chest or a village somewhere, but it's really hard to say. Let's see, and then after this map, we will be getting the Durandal. Which will probably end up going into Jarrett's hands. Or maybe not. I don't want anyone to die with it and lose us the good ending. Gonzalez will have high bulk too. He has pretty uh, high HP growth, if I recall correctly. Though I don't remember his defense as being spectacular. As a two range unit with uh, reliable crits, he won't really have to worry about them too much though. Thief up there and uh, Kath are going to start looting chests very soon. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to make it to them in time. I just kind of have to hope that the first item stolen is not not a um, 
uh, weapon of any kind. Because then it cannot be stolen back. But if it's uh, just a regular item, then it can be stolen. Okay, cool. So actually, in that case, let's see. Yeah, that'll be fine. He should not attack. And we will be okay. Kill for Gonzalez, though. Very cool. I wonder if I can manage to... I'm really not going to be able to manage to protect that first chest, so I really hope it's something that I don't... that I can steal back. So... Okay, Killer Lance, that's really great. Sh I can she use this? She can't use it at base. Silent Staff, okay. Let's really hope that this one is not a weapon. Probably gonna send everybody through this uh, through this place right here. Leave the mages alive for a little bit longer. Really wish I could have protected that chest right there, but will not be able to do so. Um, Jarrett, probably gonna go ahead and heal him up a little bit. Surely one of these guys has some manner of healing on them. Um. Wait, did Chad use the chest key? Okay, good, he didn't. I'll do it like this. And maybe not, it might not be such a bad idea to pick somebody up. Though I don't really know if I can. Let's see if Gonzalez can get this kill. Nope. No chance. Looks like it'll have to go to Lance. Perfect. Get a good level up. Very good. This guy's looking great. He's shaping up. We're gonna really want that guiding ring. I know there's usually one in here, but there's not going to be one this time. Pretty sure, certainly. Alright, let's see what this guy steals. Orion's Bolt. Okay, we can steal that back. And shoot, Kath is going to run away. Um, let's see, I might be able to block her still. If I do... Maybe I'll take... I'll steal with Astor. Steal the Orion's Bolt first of all. And then... Should be fine to block Kath if I can get down there. Don't know if I'm going to be able to quite block her out. Noah's looking great. I'm going to turn off his animation. Sadly, but I don't want to see the bard animation 200 times. If she does this, she'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then I should be able to block her once more. Yep, and then, like I said, those two spots are safe. So, we'll be able to talk to her. And I'll probably steal away this guy's lockpick, and then kill him. 
I don't remember if uh, thieves give boosted experience in this game for kills. But I'm going to try to give the kill to Gonzalez. Let's see, maybe Bartray can shoot and not kill. Nope. Maybe Allen. Ah, eh, not really. Percy Ball. Let's see, he'll probably have enough speed that Jarrett won't double him. So I could do something like this. Though I don't know if Gonzalez is actually going to have the damage output to do that. Only three. So I'm going to have to Slim Sword, maybe Iron Sword actually. And then hope that he doesn't crit. Okay, good. Gonzalez should be able to get that kill then. I think Merlinus might have a chest key in the convoy, so I might go ahead and grab this. A Wodow, okay. Sounds good to me. And then even if it isn't boosted experience, he should still get a level up off the kill. Because he is low level. Yep, cool. Get some strength and speed, my guy. Awesome, in defense. Okay, that's cool. Shaping up already. We'll just continue to dance. I mean, there's no harm in it. It really just helps. Gives him the level ups he needs. He probably won't level up spectacularly because his growths are admittedly not that great. But he's a unit that I love to use. A character that I really like. Okay, now we're in real danger. Probably gonna have to be taking on all of these reinforcements without the help of Lance. Because he's probably going to be blocking off the top up there. Hopefully Bartray and the rest can keep us safe. Talk to Kath. Place. Let's see. She could actually hurt him kind of badly. We'll do something like that. Maybe. Yeah, hopefully we can get through these guys with uh, the help of Jarrett. Looks like I'm getting better about not getting his name wrong. Bartray could probably take on the archers while Jarrett takes on the mercenaries and puts them into weakening or death range. Let's see, we'll do this. And then honestly, it'll be one, two, three, four, five, and then attack to here. Archer can reach to there, so I have to be a little bit worried. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Astor can back off. Maybe we can get some kills with Milady and her javelin. Maybe Alan can do something, I don't know. Chad is going to be kind of just standing around for a while. Okay, this is where it's going to get bad. We don't have a healer, so... Our vulnerary uses are going to be important. More important than ever, really. One thing that I might do with those archers is I could probably prevent them from doing anything bad to me. Okay, very good. I will start, I will employ that strategy on the following turn. But what I should be able to do Let's play somebody here. Does Alan get doubled? He would, but they have steel bows. So I'll place him here, and I guess just hope he doesn't get crits. And maybe we could longbow this guy. Then we'll trade. 
Iron Bow over. Try this with Melody. It's a miss. I'll try one more time. Oh yeah, I need to turn off his animation. Nice blue bird to match his blue outfit. Javelins are not spectacular in this game. Let's see, there he is. But they do the job whenever it's needed, I guess. Very good. 50% hit rate is a straight 50-50 in this game. Okay, we should be fine. I really hope that Lance will be fine. He has pretty high luck. But these guys do have high skill. 14. Though the Dark Affinity does give some Critter Void. I guess we'll have to check that out. And if he's not up to the task, then I will give him that Goddess Icon. So that he can stand there safely. Fire Tome. As much as I would like to get some of these kills, I don't know if I'm going to be able to manage. Maybe I'll start taking the items from these guys and putting them in the convoy. That way they're completely safe. Nope, I'm getting a little bit of slowdown. So I will be right back. Alright, so the slowdown should have stopped. I'm going to let this turn play out. See what happens. And then I'm probably going to take another quick cut to... Um, let the fan run a little bit longer and cool things down. Alright, now that we've got a kid in range of Bartray, he is going to be completely safe. Uh, looks like things are fine actually, it didn't slow back down. Let's see, 18 crits on the mercenaries, plus they're fast. They will double him, or they would if they didn't have steel swords, they're slowed down just enough that they don't. I am going to go ahead and grab that goddess icon and throw it onto him. He's probably my most important unit right now. Um, only be able to move to there so we'll just prevent the archer from attacking and grab the goddess icon yep I don't regret putting my stat boosters into Lance so long as he doesn't die he's going to be my best unit for a while try to longbow the mercenary and then hopefully get the kill with uh, miss lady there Should be fine. If she gets double crit, then she dies, of course. But I don't think she will. If we can get her level ups, I'm sure she'll be great. And even if she doesn't get good level ups, she'll be great, because she's a flyer. More res, interesting. An uncommon level up, as it were. Thank you. 
Let's see. I don't think Ikenna will actually face any crit, will she? Okay, actually, it looks like Gonzalez is Barth if he can talk to Noah. Her luck is at 6. These guys have 15 crits, so yeah. No matter what, somebody is taking a crit. Should be good. Already a support. A support before the talk conversation even happens. We'll go ahead and proc that. <laughs> yeah, I don't usually use Lilina, but it'll be impossible to not use Noah. Okay, I hope we're fine. Cat escapes. The archer remains in place. Barter takes a hit. Expected, though. The soldier will be forced to attack within range of somebody that he can be killed by. Don't get crit. Okay, good. Now we can just move him back. Yeah, that makes sense. As long as he doesn't die, that's what's important. Then he should get pretty badly injured, if not killed. Would've been nice if he'd crit there so we could've given the kill to Gonzalez. Two range will always move after one range, so we're pretty much safe to fire away at these guys. I might just turn off Lance's animations for a little while. Let's see, as for this, she now has... She should have pretty full crit avoid from all of these combined. Can't afford to have Alan there, so let's see how badly she is not badly at all. So she can stand there and wear away at that guy, I suppose. And we will talk. There are two to talk to, but we'll talk with uh, Echidna to get the Thunder Tome. They just talked, so. Oh, Iron Blade, interesting. Yeah, I guess it makes sense that that was randomized. Honestly, maybe Gonzalez could get up here and get all these kills. Doesn't seem like a bad idea to me. It's not like he's gonna die, I mean... Archer's moved second. So it should be completely fine for him to do that. That'll be a lot of experience for him, so let's do it.
let's see what's in these chests, finally. Oh, a night crest. I don't have anybody that can use that. Well, we have been getting promotion items, but they're not exactly what I want. Angelic robe, wow, okay, I'll take that. Continue our Gonzalez training arc up here. He's having a good old time. There we go. It's not been getting superb level ups, but it is how it is. Maybe one day he'll be good. Let's see what's in these. Silver bow, wow, okay, that's really, really good. We have Bartray down here who can make fantastic use of that. Another night crust. Well, maybe one day we'll get some cavaliers. For th until then, I guess it's just gonna be the uh, continuation of the Gonzalez training arc up here. Alright, we're finally done with the Gonzalez training arc. Hopefully this will end up being worth it. The stats are not really that great, honestly. I hope that I didn't just waste all that experience. Guess we'll see in the future. Alright, time to take on the boss. This is, uh, this is gonna be a slog. Not looking too good, honestly. It's gonna be Bartra yet again, I bet. Going to have to dance him and rescue him a bunch of times. The animation should be back on by now. Yep, so hopefully we can wrap this map up now. Dogs of the Lysian Army. Okay, maybe we can finally get this kill. I really want to try to give it to Lance. Let's get it. Come on, come on, come on. Awesome. Okay, we're finally done with this guy. Should be, yeah, close to a full level up. Get something good. Okay, worth it. That should be all for this map. Finally. It took forever. A lot of it was just standing there and beating on reinforcements and the boss for a while. I'd imagine there's probably going to be quite a bit of speed up on this, uh, this episode. Let's uh, go ahead and see this and end it. Let's actually see what our turn count is. I'm actually curious. Yeah, 81 turns. Oh well, happens. Finally retaking the castle. 
Let's skip everything. Next chapter will be the garden chapter. Try to get the Durandal. Hanning is going to be a pain. Quite possibly the worst boss. Worst boss fight in uh, FE6. Because he has so much avoid. I hope we'll be able to get through it. But I guess we'll see then. If you like this episode, if you if you like the new units we got, we got a lot of good units, we got a lot of good treasure. If you liked it, please drop a like on the video. It really helps out the channel a ton. Same thing with sharing the video. If you share around the video, more people get to see the series, and that's always fun. Uh, beyond that, subscribe, you know, stay tuned for the upcoming episodes, and uh, until those next episodes, I will see you later.